Hi, and here we are again, another episode from The Shed. And on this episode, we are looking at this Philips M136 sock street light. This one takes a 55 watt sodium tube. This is new to the collection. Another semi-restoration project going on. I'm going to be getting lots of these going on in this series, so we're going to be, <laughs> be quite busy. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this one. We'll take it apart and just see what it's about and then point out what probably we'll need doing to it. Uh, this one's got the gear in head, so the ballast and everything is in there. So I've already taken the hinges off this side so we can get the bowl off quite easily. He says, there we go, there we go, it's his usual Phillips prism prismatic, I think they call it, is it? Prismatic. Yeah, needs a good clean up that, look. Needs a very, very good clean up, actually. There we go, so I'll put that out of the way, down like that. Now, I'll tilt this up a bit like this, so you can see on the camera exactly the way this is. I've taken the photo cell out that was on the back, so it's just a little bit easier to handle. Right, usual setup, gear tray, reflector. Um, well, actually, no, it's a reflector, uh, just a reflector, actually, because the actual gear, gear is actually mounted, actually, on the actual canopy there. And the reason I am wearing these gloves is because of this is fiberglass. And handling these around, Philips done a lot of fiberglass canopies. A bit of a pain, really, because when they start to wear them and start to wear them and get on a bit, they start giving off these little, little particles of fiberglass that get in one's fingers and we end up with itchy hands. Not very pleasant at all. Anyway, let's uh, get this off here. It's quite, these are quite easy to dismantle actually. The bolts, these two bolts here, they just unscrew like this and then the tray comes away. Um, it might be a bit difficult getting the tray away on this one because I'm going to guess, pretty much guess, there's going to be an earth connection on it, or CPC, as we say in the professional world. We'll just get the little, uh, that's it. get the little uh, washers off, and this should just lift out. A bit from there. And there we go. And as I guess it is, so it's going to be totally fine to snip the earth on this so we can get rid of the tray so we can have a better look inside it's going to be rewired anyway because i've got some new lamp holders and things so there's the tray these are good cleaning up and i use a radiator white on these because it comes up really good we've got some rust bubbles there that are going to need sorting out on there and maybe a little bit of uh well, not nitromoles but um some rust repellent on there there we go, that is that. Right, inside, here we go. Now this is classic inside, right? Now I'm going to show you something here that I just noticed. Uh, when we dealing with old lanterns like this, it's probably not best to plug them straight in, even though it says, they say, oh, it works, it's good, it's this. Uh, we never, ever plug anything in <laughs> without doing a visual check on it the cables because I've just noticed something on this. Now this come with a nice little length of wire. And there we go, a nice little length of wire there. Now if I was to put a plug on that and plug it straight in, see if the camera will pick it up. Now, can we see just here? Just here? See that? It's not connected. So if you put a plug on the end of that, that would become live. That would have touched on the uh, reflector cover. And we would have, well, not a fuse blow, but yourself would blow up if you touched that. Bang. So this is why it's done that we never, ever, with old lanterns, just start plugging them in willy-nilly because you really need to do a visual check. Okay, so, you know, <laughs> if you do so, if you plug it in well, you know, it's at your own risk, really, isn't it? But anyway, let's look around there. But that's very fortunate, that. Very fortunate, see? So that just proves to check. And also, we've got a very dodgy, crispy uh, earth uh, connector there as well. So it's 
probably wouldn't earth or that could touch that and you could get in a lot of trouble with them. So with these Phillips, noticeable that the ballast is actually mounted sideways into there. I've seen this before, so that's easy enough to come off of there. And there we've got the traditional Phillips igniter there. Uh, this is probably useless by now, this capacitor. Very sort of burnt, heaty, crispy, crispy. And uh, what I always do is, when I do, let's put that there. You knock the camera over. There we are. When I do a refurb now, I change the lamp holder because they have trouble with the springs, the little terminals inside. Can I get to see that inside? No, probably not. But in here, you've got the springy terminals and they seize up. So, probably not the best way to do it. So, what I do is I'll just get a nice new lamp holder like this. Brand new lamp holder. These are about a quid each and uh, about mm, three postage I think these were about two or three quid they're literally the same so that will go in there very nicely indeed you see there we are going to turn the back the back of it Whoop. NEMA cell of course they all have the NEMA cell on I don't think I've seen any Phillips with a mini cell um, I imagine this back plate here comes off I can't remember if it does or not I think it does somehow because you'd need to do that to get there to get to the clamps to clamp it onto the column wouldn't you really uh, so we'll do that and also what we'll do as well is we'll get a new I'll get a replacement photo cell probably a Royce Thompson one I've got a sock of those in so we'll change that but this will all come apart all the rusty screws will come off this will get um, a serious scrub down and then after that we shall uh, give it a um, spray of the radiator paint that will seal it or even what you can do with these sometimes is you can actually um, actually actually what am I thinking about actually put some um, lacquer on it okay so let's just see if this will come off actually if you lacquer it just keep all the uh, just keep all the little fibers in you want to get itchy hands now, I do believe this does come off actually put it in the comments if this comes off let me know so I don't want to start breaking things but I'm pretty sure I've seen these with these things missing so let's just um oh, that does actually come off right let's have a look now yeah, it's coming off let's just see what we can do with this one yeah look at this yeah oh here we go there you go I thought so there we are so there we go that's your clamp there. That clamp's going to have to come out and be totally redone because that isn't going to clamp anything, is it? Very rusty in there, actually. See so if we can get that plate out. So the idea is to get this strip right down so it's so a skeleton. Then we can put some really, really, really good. Um... Actually, is it moving? Yeah, it's moving a bit. So I think we can. Yeah, we do something. Like that. There we go, so it does come off, so no need to tell me that it does. Right, let's put that back on there so we don't, we don't lose this. But there we go. And apart from that, that is about it, really. Um, you've got all the usual little um, things in the back here. Which is a little thing that holds your cable. Uh, these tend to get crispy, but what I do is... I take these out, anything plastic out, and I replace them with a porcelain connector. I know SOX lamps don't give much heat, there's not much heat there anyway, but it's always best I try to do that. The wiring, the wiring isn't too bad, but while well, you've got it apart, you might as well put new cabling in. Just makes it more reliable, gives you peace of mind as well. Um, and then it'll be time to put the tester on it and just give it a test, see if everything's working okay. As far as I know, this lamp does work <clears throat> as far as I know that's what I was told it'll be interesting to get this up and done so and this is number 97 I think it is lamp in the collection so there we have it that is the Philips M136 the M126 is the 35 uh, watt version of this and of course for it does it come with no lamp of course and I have in stock a lovely brand new 
sodium lamp. So this will go in there with treat. So there we go. Nice new sodium messy because it's the correct correct size for it. So that will go in there like that. There we are. So correct size lamp, new lamp, new lamp holder, new photo cell socket possibly. Um, probably might get away with a bit of uh, electrical spray on that, but we'll see. But I've got all that anyway, so if we do the whole thing. When it's going to get refurbed, I do not know, because I've got five other projects on at the moment, and one larger one that I've been trying to finish for the last two years. <laughs> and a very, very old lantern at the moment, I'm trying to do a, ref a refurb on, and trying to get it all done in time for before the summer goes, so it's going to be plenty on there. So there we go then, that is the old Philips M136 lantern. So let me know any questions in oh, you want to know about this in there, put in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching again. And if you haven't subscribed, do that, do that. Get me sure you hit that subscribe button. And uh, ding the bells for, you know, little bell icon for more videos as they come out. I haven't posted nothing for two weeks, hence busyness. But as soon as I get anything good to done and see anything new, I'll, I'll blog it on here. Okay. Right then. Well, thanks for listening and watching. And remember, put your questions and comments in the bottom. And remember that electric is very dangerous stuff. So be very careful. See you on the next one. Bye bye.